Welcome to the tea off. Oh, 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 spill that tea, sis. This is how we like to start our show off. We like to spill some tea on our favorite athletes and some of the crazy situations they get themselves into. Today, however, we got to talk about a whole team. And no, this is not the Phoenix Suns incident. We are going to talk about the <laughs> a little reach back. Uh, a little bit. I was like, what the, what the Suns do? They've been playing well. They, they have been playing well. But instead, we're going to talk about the Las Vegas Raiders. All right. So yesterday, in the wake of the George Floyd trial coming to a close, the verdict coming out, they decided to make this tweet. They tweeted, and it's a graphic tweet of, I can breathe. Under it, it says the date. For 2021 and I'm not I can't help myself I'm going to make it I can breathe 420 joke just cuz like referencing it is more than enough listen when you first told me about the tweet I read it read the the comments the feedback and I said you know maybe maybe Mark Davis the Raiders owner who sent out this tweet was just enjoying 420 a bit too much and forgot about the context and would now rather not tell us that he was enjoying a little bit too much of the recreational um, activities in Las Vegas. It is legal in Las Vegas. It is indeed. And the NFL has finally stopped testing for it. So, but let's, let, let's talk about this. Who is this man's social media manager? Because you got to think about it like this. When this first comes out, everybody's going crazy about it. He says... The owner, Mark Davis, he's like, I take full responsibility for this. It was no one else's idea. I wanted this tweet to be put out. He does not have his own personal Twitter, so he does not tweet. So you got to think, he gets on the phone, he makes a call, Mm -hmm. right? You got to think about how this goes down, because everybody's like, oh, they're going to fire the social media manager. How did this social media manager let this shit happen? And now I'm thinking like, no, imagine if it happened the way he actually says it does. He makes a call. Whoever he's calling is not the person that actually tweets this tweet, right? That person then makes a call to someone else's boss. It's like, yo, I need you to tweet this I can breathe 420 stuff. Get out um, get out graphic designer on it, right? Because <laughs> it's, 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 it's not text. They made a graphic. So get out graphic mm-hmm. designer on it. Get our social media team on it. We want it now. That person probably then turns around. Looks at like a 22-year-old is like, I need you all to do this. I'll say a few things. Number one, the Raiders social media manager is probably the lowest paid social media manager in the league. I'm, I'm going to be honest. We've keep it, kept it real with y'all. I will tell you when the owners, who are, are still rich compared to me, but compared to other owners, Mark Davis is broke. And between all that money, he's paying uh, Gruden to go 8-8. Eight and eight, and or seven and nine and all the money that he paid to move the team, I, I don't think he's paying for the top notch social media consultant. Okay. Think about it like this. Do you think that twenty two year old maybe turns around and is like, hey guys, I don't think this is a good idea? Depends on who they are, but perhaps they they, they do. And then your boss looks at you and goes, Shut up. Do it because my boss's boss's boss. Has demanded it. Like, you got to think, they're like, who is this person? Fired this team. Imagine the line of people that this possibly goes through and how many of them might look up and be like, hey, guys, I don't know if we should do this. And the guy all the way at the top, everybody's like, but he said to do it. So, (laughs) like, that is so terrible. So, of course, this causes a massive uproar. A ton of celebrities are quote tweeting it saying, I cannot believe that you did this. LeBron James, Isaiah Thomas, a host of other athletes in the NFL, the NBA, commentators, everybody. The response by the Las Vegas Raiders. And this is like the biggest keep that same energy move is they then pin the tweet. So imagine the backlash gets back to the owner and he's like, Go ahead and pin that shit, homie. He said double down. Yeah, he's like, go ahead and pin that. Let them know. Of course, that causes people to go into even more outrage, uproar, etc. Mark Davis then, like, of course, gets interviewed about this, has mm-hmm. to do a little bit of cleanup. He's like, look, 
I'm taking my cues from the Ford family. I don't listen to talking heads is what he says. And one, I mean, look, this is what he says. I, I know what he said. Go tell the people. And George Floyd's brother said today I can breathe again. Right. So he's like, oh, he can breathe. So obviously I can breathe, too. Let's go ahead and tweet that one. No. Ignorance. No. Ignorance. I mean, if he can breathe, obviously I can breathe, too. People are like, you don't understand the history of this. He does not. Let's talk about the history of this Eric Gardner, another unarmed black man killed by the police, who is also yelling, I cannot breathe, that he is being murdered. He did not know that the cops, of course, every time there is a movement for anything, for rights for black people, there must be a counter movement by racists who are wearing the I can breathe t-shirts to show support for the police in this situation something he was not privy to right but he says and i got a quote i will not delete it i could unpin it and let it run its courts (laughs) but it's already out there i rarely rarely post stuff and i am not into erasing something it is not an apology i am not embarrassed by what i said but i did learn something new but I don't get why he couldn't acknowledge that it could at the same time be wrong and remain up. Because he didn't acknowledge that he hadn't done any wrong. He he said it's not wrong. So, to be fair, all the backlash, very reasonable. But George Floyd's family, particularly his brother, came out in support of this. He said he supports the statement made by the Las Vegas Raiders and he wanted to put out a message and I will quote this message because this is very important. And I think these are the feelings that should be paramount when we are discussing this conversation in particular, because that is this man's family. So on behalf of our family, I would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Las Vegas Raiders organization and its leadership for their support of our family and for our nation's ongoing pursuit of justice and equality for all. Now more than ever, we must come together as one and continue in this fight. For the first time in almost a year, our family has taken a breath. And I know that goes for so many across the nation and the globe as well. Let us take this breath together in honor of my big brother who could it. Let's do it for George. I think that is a very dignified statement from, uh, I believe, his name is Mr. Floyd, I presume. Yes. uh, His first name, I cannot pronounce and I refuse to butcher it. So, Mr. Floyd. Yes. uh, That was a very dignified response from Mr. Floyd. And I think he did the right thing of using the attention that this moment and Mark Davis put on him to further a message I believe George Floyd would agree with. So, kudos to the brother. That being said, I do think if I were to, I I would think that if we were to have a one on one private conversation with the family or the brother, some of them may have a problem with it. Not because I think, and it could certainly be possible that Mark Davis is a supporter of, uh, you know, protest movements and Black Lives Matter. Who knows? Who knows? If you think about the history of the Raiders, his father before him, they are, they were seen kind of the way the Bucks are seen in the like more recent years. A little bit more progressive than the other owners. Yes, Yes, progressive. Uh, hired one of the first black head coaches, hired the first female His, executive. Hispanic as well, yes. head coach. Mm-hmm. All of that. So they, he certainly could be a little bit better than uh, than other owners on this. But at least from what I've seen from the NFL and owners over the past year, I don't have anything to point me to say that. He is not his dad. He's not his father. I don't know if he has the same views. I would hope that his dad influenced him. But I think within the context of not just the George, uh, the George Floyd, um, you know, murder and the Derek Chauvin trial, but the greater context of the entire black lives matter movement. I can't breathe being a slogan for it. He, he has to at least acknowledge that some people, despite his best intentions may be hurt, uh, and impacted by this message. I don't think that's a ridiculous statement to put out. Even if you're like, Hey, I'm taking my cues from the Floyd family. They're okay with this. I apologize if it upset anyone else, but this is where it's at. He could have said that, and it's a much it's a much better way to frame it than doubling down. And it's not that he's necessarily wrong. I, 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 I think you're right. We should defer to the family on this, but I think I would say the family's doing the dignified thing as opposed to maybe what 
they sometimes want to say. And there's there's one member of his family as well. We don't know what other yes. members feel about this. So that's that's my little piece on that. I'm with you. I'm with you. And I think maybe the larger issue is something that we should talk about. It's like the rush to want to be a part of a collective catharsis mm -hmm. that maybe people did not actually have any real connection to. Well, there was no stakeholder. There was no stake to be held in this for Mark Davis, as far as I know. He had not spoken out publicly, to my knowledge, about the trial or George Floyd or any of the movements that happened. Almost nobody did, but I. But everybody was on Twitter tweeting about it. Right, unless you were in, you were supporting it in in May of last year when it happened. Mm -hmm. Don't hop on now. Be you. But that. But that's kind of. What it is for everybody. Keep that like same Everybody energy. wanted to talk about how they were so relieved for it. They wanted to call it justice. I don't think like, it's that. But tell me, is that not everything that was in your phone? It oh, it absolutely was. The, by corporations, large scale people who maybe have not put in any of the actual effort or skin in the game behind these type of justice concepts no people who i think you could say pretty clearly want to profit off of seemingly being woke mm -hmm. and the same day within an hour of that verdict another unarmed black person this time a woman in ohio but kaya bryant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. woman is woman is an exaggeration well, when they're black, they're women. When they're white, yeah, they're little girls. Yeah, yeah I, I had to catch myself. I had to catch... When, as teenage soon as you said girl. Teenager, yeah, teenage girl. Teenage girl murdered because she had a knife. Well, I believe, if, if I remember correctly, some details have started to come out. She called the police for help because she was being threatened by another group of teenagers, if I remember correctly. So, in this case, I mean, we, I mean this is sorry. I'm sorry that this is a lesson that people still have to acknowledge but black people can't call the police for help but don't worry the las vegas raiders can breed the demarcus if you're if you if you're so about the movement where is your call for action on this if you're not talking about they were they were quick to get that i can breathe off mm -hmm. well they two were, hours of the yeah murder. they look she had already been killed <laughs> but they was quick to get that i can breathe off where's the energy at today the, that honestly that's what i need and that is the kind of most damaging part of having these conversations. They yeah. only here for the wave when it's hot. It is. If if you black, if it did it feel was it was it bad to have this? No. But I don't know that it was good either. Cuz it, it didn't change nothing. It should yeah, it didn't change anything and it didn't change the system that allowed George Floyd to be killed. In fact, we saw it continue as soon as the verdict happened. Right. I think the verdict allows people to say, hey, it's one bad apple. The system is fine. No, 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 no. This is the one bad apple that got caught. And I, 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 I believe. And there's another teenage girl who we should think, which is the lady who recorded this video mm -hmm. of George Floyd. And if it not, had not been for her, I don't think this is a conviction. If the video doesn't get released by her and go viral, I don't think this is a conviction. I'm not even sure it's a trial. Mm -hmm. It's the because I don't know if you look back and saw. The statement that the Minneapolis police released the day after George Floyd was killed, they're like, black man, or like, they're like, uh, assailant dies due to health issue in custody. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then they all wanted to be like, no, he was totally wrong in the trial. Right. And so unless we have those videos, unless we have people who do keep that same energy on a day-to-day -day basis in the streets, we're not going to have any progress. Mark Davis, if you want to come to the party, stay at the party. Don't leave. Facts, and that was your tee off. Oh, oh, spit at tea, sis. Ooh, spit at tea, sis. The, 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 the fly route pod. The fly route pod. The fly route pod. The fly route pod. We want to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to listen to this video. Did you know that this video is part of a larger fly route podcast? Look us up wherever you watch podcasts. We are on Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere. Take the time, subscribe. We appreciate you. While we have you here, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Otherwise, you will miss some of our YouTube videos. That's just the way YouTube works. 
And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Fly Route Pod.